So there are people right now, not in this audience, and I know it's not this audience, but there are people who will hear what you just said uh, and then say, but so what? Mm -hmm. What's that got to do with me? How does that help me? How and does doesn't cutting the budget leave more money for yeah, the rest of our important right, right, things? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, why are we, and this is the term, sure. wasting money yeah. on going to another planet or getting to Mars mm -hmm. or looking at exoplanets, all this stuff that you guys do. You're wasting money. We could be using that money for something else. That's, um, yeah. that's the argument that you hear mm -hmm. most commonly against yep. spending money for yep. something like NASA. So... It's, I always like to put this in context, right? And I know Neil has said this very eloquently before, but you know, NASA is just this tiny, tiny fraction. So if you want priorities, most of the money the US government spends is on healthcare, national defense, and, and support for, yeah, and social support, right? So social security, Medicare, Medicaid, military, all that stuff, it's vast, three quarters of all spending is that. And then NASA is this your little sliver, less than a half of a percent. And then of, of NASA, right? A third of NASA roughly goes to science. So you're talking about a third of less than half a percent, like 0.1% of every tax dollar, right? You're talking about fractional pennies at this point. Mm -hmm. So it's not a lot, right? In the scope of when you're spending $6 trillion, right? This is akin to, you know, we spend more money on pet food in this country than we do on go sending things into space for scientific reasons, right? We can afford this. I we mean, can walk and chew. We things. can afford this. And yet there is a movement to not even spend this money. Right? Correct. There's a, an overall desire to kind of cut, cut, cut without really consideration of what does that mean more broadly. 